But today, there is a news story that was headlined in the Wall Street Journal about how New York State, and specifically New York City, is bearing the brunt of this immigration crisis especially. How interesting is that? Those of us that know the geography of the United States know that New York is a northern state. It is not exactly close to the southern border. So if northern states are sounding the alarm on this issue, it indicates the extent to which it has come to plague our society. 18 Prager 776, if you want to call in and talk about it. 18 Prager 776. The mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, is filing a suit against 30 New York counties, including the neighboring counties of Orange and Rochester. Those are very near to New York City, Rockland, excuse me, that have issued executive orders in order to prevent their individual counties from sending asylum seekers to hotel rooms that the city has paid for. Okay. So the municipal leaders of these counties are trying to resist sending migrants on the city's dollar to hotel rooms. And Mayor Eric Adams is filing lawsuits against those municipal leaders. This is the same horrible, immoral, and waste of resources that we saw a few weeks ago when it came out that the Department of Justice is uh, filing a lawsuit against the state of Tennessee over Tennessee passing a law that minors should not be able to get gender-affirming care. Really? This is where our litigation resources, time, and energy are going? 47,000 illegal immigrants are currently under New York City's care. 2,000 have entered New York City in the past week, and New York City has heard over 2,000 asylum claims in the past week. But don't worry, everyone. According to Mayor Eric Adams, this number is far down from what we saw at the end of May when there were over 5,500 undocumented immigrants coming to New York City during the week. Isn't that funny, the way that the mayor is going, oh, it's fine. The bleeding, gaping wound is not bleeding as much as it was two weeks ago. It's still a bleeding, gaping wound. It is taking $1.2 billion of taxpayer money to pay for. That is the amount of money, $1.2 billion, that has been allocated to the issue of undocumented immigrant housing and uh, health care in New York City alone over the past fiscal year. The mayor's office has also said that they expect $4.3 billion will be spent on this issue alone by this time next year, June of 2024. My dear viewers, if you could see Sean's face right now, you <laughs> would not be surprised. His mouth is gaping open in shock. Are we really shocked, though? I mean, Mayor Eric Adams, he ran on this when he was uh, trying to secure uh, the, the mayoral <laughs> seat, if you will. He said that New York City would be a sanctuary city, that they would protect immigrants. And now, you know, you got to give him credit. I guess you could say he followed through on a campaign promise. But at what expense? Mayor Adams has said that he wants to subsidize New York citizens for hosting migrants in their homes. They have such an overwhelming problem. Migrants are living on street corners. They're going into churches and synagogues and mosques. They are being put up on the taxpayer dime in hotels. But still, this is not enough. So the mayor is trying to pay citizens to keep undocumented immigrants in their apartments or in their homes. Additionally, the mayor is pushing with full force to house thousands of these undocumented migrants in, ready for it, an empty hangar at JFK International Airport in the state of New York. $40 million so far has been given by the federal government to New York City to deal with this problem. According to the mayor, that number, $40 million, is enough to pay for the problem for just five days. It covers the expenses for five days. But Representative Jeffries of New York and Senator Schumer of New York 
have approved $105 million to now be allocated towards this problem. So that will solve the problem for 10 days, <laughs> maybe 12 days, it seems. Not to mention that this is on the backs of all of us, American taxpayers, people who have worked hard for their money, who are paying as much as we may have sympathy for these individuals, for citizens not of our own country.